Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Tree Blocks by Emergent Plant Life. The game plays two players, takes about 15 to 20 minutes to play, and is for ages 13 and up. This is a strategy game where you are building trees. The trees are competing with each other to get sunlight. So two players will be placing blocks. There are leaves and branches and whoever has the most active leaves at the end is the winner. Yeah, it's a pretty straightforward game of planting either one or two blocks, depending on your active leaves, obtaining active leaves, and active leaves are, what are active leaves? It's, it's leaves that can be seen from the top down. So when mm -hmm. we show you stuff, we'll show you it from the top down. Actually, this goes with the black one. Oh, that's true. So play with the dark colored uh, leaves and branches versus the light colored leaves and branches. And each player is going to get their own set along with this nifty little playing board that can be played on both the front and back side, depending on how uh, much you want, how easy you want these things, these blocks to stick into the board. Anyway, we'll explain the setup for the game and then of course how to play. And then me and Alicia will talk about the game Tree Blocks. To start, you will set the board down and separate the light and the dark colors. The person with the dark tree will start first. They will place a leaf and then the light tree will place a leaf. After you've done doing that, the setup is basically complete. Make sure that your players have their own separate blocks and begin with the dark players selecting a leaf to start the game off with, or of course a branch. Okay, so that's the setup for tree blocks. It's really easy to set up and it's also very easy to play. You're going to, on your turn, starting with the dark player, be placing one or two blocks and you can place either leaves or branches. And there's one main rule for the game, which you can explain easier than I can. Basically, you can't place anything directly on top of a leaf. So uh, I can't place a one of these guys, the branches on a leaf, and I can't place another leaf on a leaf. However, I can place branches or leaves on the board, and I can place leaves on branches. And on your turn, you're going to be placing one or two blocks, and the way you choose between placing one or two is pretty simple as well, which you can also explain. Yeah, so if you have less than three active leaves, you can place one block on the board, but if you have three or more, you can place two blocks on your turn. And what is an active leaf? An active leaf is a leaf you can see from top down. So right now, both of us have one active leaf. So right. if I were to go, I could choose either a leaf or I can choose a branch. I would take one of those blocks because I only have three or I have less than three active leaves and I can place it somewhere on the board here. But I can't place a leaf on a leaf. And I can also never place my dark colored blocks on yours, connecting them. They can go over or under, they just can't connect to your specific one. So maybe I'll just place one like right here. And I gotta make sure I push it in nice and tight. And then that would be the end of my turn, placing mm -hmm. one block and then it would be your turn. And you would also place one block. And so she would take one of her light leaves, I would imagine, probably leaves are best to start the game off because then you can generate two. Yes. And you can place it anywhere on the board and it would just go back and forth like that, up until the point where somebody had a three active leaves. So after I've got my third active leaf here, on my next turn, I'll be able to place two blocks. And once Alicia has her third active leaf, she will be able to as well. But at certain points in the game, these will might be covered up because other players might build over your active leaves, in which case you might go below three, in which case you're only gonna be able to place one block as opposed to two. So now it's my turn, I've got my three active leaves, so I can actually take two blocks and place them anywhere on the board. Uh, another thing to note too, and she can do the same thing, is that you, once you've placed um, these branches here, I can place my leaves around it, but I can never place, obviously, like I said before, like she said before, you can't place two leaves together and attach them like this. But what I can do on my turn is I can take one of my active leaves and place it over one of her active leaves. So if you can see on the board here, I've gone ahead and placed my branch and my leaf attached to my branch and I've covered up hers. Right, so on her the next turn- leaf but, has to be attached to the branch. So right, it's, that, that's right, yeah? Yeah, so you can't place it like this but you can place it next to the branch. And then it just connects them like that. And yes. it blocks her leaf, and thusly she's limited to how many uh, blocks she can place on her turn. And it's just gonna keep going back and forth like that as we build up our dark and our, our light trees, up until what happens? When you're done putting all the blocks on, or if you can't put any more on. Yeah, so if you can't place any more blocks, the game will end, or 
if one player finishes placing. So there might be one player who places all their blocks before another, because maybe they've got more active leaves than the other player, in which case the other player can do what? They can place all the rest of their blocks. So if I have placed all my blocks, but Alicia still has three or four left of hers, she can finish by placing the rest of her uh, leaves and branches on the board. And then at the end of the game, what do you do? You count the leaves and see who has the most active leaves. Yeah, basically whoever has the most active leaves from looking at the top down below is the winner of the game, tree blocks. Also, another way the game could end is if one player covers all of the other player's active leaves. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward little abstract game. Okay, so let's talk about tree blocks. Is this game really challenging, complicated, uh, in-depth? No, it's pretty easy to play. Um, when I first saw this, I thought it would be uh, like Connect Four, and my first thought was, man, I suck at that game. I always lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it feels kind of like Connect Four because you're dropping pieces down on a board. But you're not really you're not really trying to connect any pieces. You are connecting them, but yeah. it's more about getting them to branch out. Um, yeah. And what's what I really liked about this game too is you know I can take these branches. I can make as many as I want. If I wanted to, I can make a branch uh, do this, and mm -hmm. then I can start putting leaves on the outside, making it very challenging for you to be able to cover them up. And these would count as active leaves because from the top down, mm -hmm. they look like active leaves. I wonder what would happen if you actually had a player do something like this. Would this even work? all the way across. How far would it yeah. let you go? Uh, I guess it does, but ever so slightly, the weight starts going down. But you can place <laughs> your branches all the way off of the board. You could also choose, if you wanted to, to make it as tall as you wanted. So I could take this and I could place it like that. And but thusly, then you can only have a maximum of five on that one tree. That's true, because I can only place maximum, I can only place the active leaves. I mean, I could place more, but they would be covering up my own uh, leaf. You would have to place them just on the board then. So maybe it's not best to make one singular yeah. It's like I do one, two, three, four, and then like one on the top. It's like a palm tree. Yeah, it's like the I have I have a big I have like a um, what do you call them? I call them like a Gan Gandalf. So I have a really big palm tree in the backyard, looks just like this. <laughs> Except it's also like way more droopier. Has like this, <laughs> it's just like falling down. <laughs> but yeah, the game's actually a really cool strategy game, um, and you can be as mean or as nice as you want. You can exactly. try and build away from other players and just kind of focus on your own uh, trees and your own active leaves. Mm -hmm. Or if you want, you can play like Callie, and <laughs> you can you can build out uh, so that way you can start covering your opponent's uh, leaves. So if Alicia's got a leaf all the way over here, I can start building my branches uh, to the point where I'm able to cover them with leaves, and thusly she's not going to score points with those. So even though this one's all the way up here at the very top, I can turn this over. It's covering up this one here. Thusly, it's no longer an active leave, and so you're focusing on how best can I gain myself active leaves, and also how best can I reduce the amount of active leaves my opponent has? Alicia likes to play super nice, but eh, I would say in this game it's probably not a bad idea to try and at least cover some of your opponent's leaves, because otherwise, yes, it might be a bigger scoring game, but if they ever choose to cover up one or two of your leaves, you're in trouble, because now you're going to lose. I guess you have to think about who you're playing against. Yes. Because Caleb and I played very, very nice against each other. We never covered any of the other person's leaves. Oh, I'd cover so your leaves. We... <laughs> I'd cover them up. We had a very high scoring game. I had the maximum points of 16 and he had 15. So... <laughs> Fif six, one, two, three, four, yeah, five, six, seven, Yeah, there were literally eight, nine, 16 ten. leaves and all of mine were active. <laughs> Dang! Because we didn't, we didn't go after each other's throats. So he had to cover up his own stuff then? Uh, yeah, he... He only covered one of his own. Mm, okay. But yeah, it's not a bad idea to cover up other people's. I would yeah. suggest it's part of the game to try and uh, gain as much sunlight from your leaves uh, compared to your opponents. Um, mm -hmm. And then at the end of the game, what's really nice too is it makes this kind of little like a uh, tree concoction. It looks like, a, like little trees are being built and they're kind of like being twisted around each other and building up as high as they possibly can get. And it does remind me of the trees I've got in my backyard, specifically my, my big palm tree that's growing up into the heaven, heaven. So. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of fun. I really enjoyed this game. It's got a little bit of com competitive a aspects to it. It's got a little bit of uh, cutthroatery if you want to have that. And then it's also got the ability to kind of expand and grow and it just works really well. It's a really thematic abstract game in, 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 in some cases because most abstracts like checkers and chess and 
I don't know, the rest of those games, Baccarat and all that, they're not really thematic. And this one does feel thematic. It kind of reminds me of a game called Santorini, where you're building up the city streets of Santorini. And this one here, you're just building up two little trees and a little pathway. And it's pretty straightforward. Quality of the components? Really nice. Everything fits in really well. It's nice and tight and snug. Like I said, if you build too far up or too far across, you might have some weight issues, but it's very unlikely you're going to be building uh, your tree out that far. Even still, it, it, it holds up eh, pretty well, I would say. And you can play on either side of the board. They give you stickers, so you can play on the opposite side, so you can have an even more, like, uh, pushes a little harder, but it stays in there a little more um, intact. So you have those options as well. Uh, so yes, high quality components, high quality pieces, really nice game. It's something I would easily bring out. Is this a game you'd bring out? What do you think overall? Yeah, it's a fun little quick game and it was a lot better than I expected. I was expecting that this would be a hard game for me, but I had fun doing it and it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be. Well, you gotta play against me, then we'll see. <laughs> so I'm gonna cover up all your leaves. Your tree's gonna be left with one leaf stranded in the wind until it falls off. So mean. <laughs> <laughs> if you're interested in taking a look at the game Tree Blocks, you can have a link down below in the description where you can go ahead and pick up this game. I think it's currently available for sale. It's a really fun, really beautiful, really fun, it's a really enjoyable game. I was uh, I was surprised with how much I enjoyed this game, and this is definitely going to be staying in my collection because I can easily see myself pulling this out again uh, for a younger audience, for my family members. I know my grandma would enjoy this game. She would be able to get this really easily, but it still has that thick strategy that you would want for trying to, you know, be a little bit competitive as well. So, solid recommendation for the game, uh, Tree Blocks. You as well? Yes. Yes. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and do what? Subscribe. Yeah, and hit that notification bell button. It helps you get notified for more videos that we create on this channel every day. You can also go and check our website, Unfiltered Gamer. There's tons of blog posts, giveaways, Kickstarter lists, all that kind of good stuff. Where we have more reviews of other games that we're not reviewing on this channel. So if you want to see some of that stuff for written content, maybe at your work uh, and your, your boss is looking around the corner, you can't watch a video, but you can spy on a written review, you can do that. Or on your phone or something like that under the desk. It's something you could be advised to do uh, while at work. <laughs> Maybe not. You can also go ahead and check us out one more place. Where else do we do stuff at? It's every Sunday. Oh, the live stream. On Twitch and Facebook. Every Sunday at 6.30 p.m. PST, we play games. We have a bunch of new people always showing up. And uh, we're going to have a new neighborhood soon, too. Rachel, who showed up last stream. And I'm probably going to get her on the stream more often now because she lives like a minute away and will have no excuse but to come and play board <laughs> games every Sunday night. Um, we'll be playing this game. Uh, we did play this game, actually, on a live stream uh, this last Sunday. So if you want to see how the game works in more detail and more depth, you can watch Callie and Rachel uh, go at it head to head and cover each other's leaves up. All right, guys, that's all I got for you this time. And as always, I look forward to... Tree blocking. <laughs> tree blocking you next time. Oh, I get it. Cause like they're tree, it's a tree game. These are blocks and you have to block the active leaves. Yeah. Wow, it's like a triple. Wow, that's so <laughs> smart. <laughs>